The following video shows a transceptor valve in valve sapient 3 TMVR for bioprosthetic valve degeneration. The patient was a 78 year old female with past medical history of aortic valve replacement with a Perimun 25mm valve and mitral repair in 2005. One year later, the mitral repair failed and she underwent a Rodu mitral valve replacement with a Perimun 29mm. During 2019, patient presented with major dyspnea and several admissions for left heart failure. Transthoracic showed a severe aortic and mitral valve degeneration. Aortic mean gradient was of 45 millimeters of mercury and mitral mean gradient of 20 millimeters of mercury. Left heart cath was normal. The case was discussed by the heart team and a stage double valve in valve treatment was chosen. The aortic mitral angle measured on CT scan was favorable of 120 degrees. We decided to implant an aortic valve in valve core valve of 26 mm and a mitral valve in valve sapien 3 of 29 mm. Here we can see the relation between the two valves as shown by the first CT scan. The first procedure was an aortic valve in valve taber with a 26 mm core valve, which had a very good result with a well functioning valve without any regurge. The patient was discharged home on day 3, and this is the scan showing the relationship between the valves with the core valve implanted. The dyspnea of the patient was temporarily improved as she had always a severe mitral stenosis. Three months later we decided then to perform the second procedure. Here is shown the transeptal puncture with the BRK1 needle. Over a guide wire, which is inserted in the enlarged left atrium, the BRK needle is changed for an Agilis catheter. This catheter is uh, steerable, which greatly improves possibility to pass the wire through the mitral valve in the left ventricle. Once the wire is in the left ventricle, a G-air probe is inserted and the change is made with a confida wire. We decided in this case to put a double confida wire in the left ventricle in order to give more push while inserting the Edwards Sapien 3 valve. A temporary pacemaker probe is inserted in the right ventricle and a balloon septostomy of 10 mm is made in order to facilitate passing of the valve. After alignment of the balloon and the valve, the whole system is pushed through the septum into the left atrium, through the mitral valve and then into the left ventricle. The flex of the Sapien 3 valve is very helpful in this case. It's important to note that in order to have the flex in the good direction, the Edwards logo needs to face down the patient. The pusher of the valve is retracted as usual and the valve is positioned and the balloon inflated.
The position and function of the valve is studied by transesophageal echo. Here we had a good functioning valve without mitral regurgitation and without any alveoti obstruction. This is the final CT scan showing the relation between the two valves. As we can see, there is no LVOT obstruction. The patient was discharged on day 3 with a mean mitral gradient of 4 and a mean aortic gradient inferior of 5. Thank you for your attention.